In this video, I'm going to look at our new change management in Worksoft Certify. What we're going to look at is importing and exporting of folders and processes into a new project, because this happens quite a bit. Here I have a process in Certify. If I look, the process is kind of what you'd expect. There's a parent process and different child processes called from there. So what I can do is I can actually right click and export um, at a folder level. Um, I can take the whole thing or maybe I just want to grab a specific process and I can export there. Uh, the process works the same, it's just how many um, things come along. So I'm going to right click and say export and I'll open the folder. So what's happened is we now have a zip file of the process and all the dependencies available. So the nice thing is this, this is very platform independent, right? If I look, there is a manifest inside of there. So I can see that there was a load Chrome C4C, C4C T1 and C4C T2 were included. There was 52 map objects, variables, layouts and process record sets. So this tells me everything that was included in this nice zip file, okay? so. Well, what would happen now is I want to go move this to the same project, to new project, or a different database, right? So in my case, I'm going to come to my projects, and I have my daily regression project. So what I'm going to do is actually go open this project and move um, that into here. So I'm going to say open project. And what we'll see is we now have an, um, if I come to processes, I have an empty project, so I'm just going to simply import into here. Say import my processes. I'm going to point to my zip file. And what will happen is the um, file will be read and all of the different things will be imported for me. So let's see what happened. I have now a folder with my import date and timestamp. It was called functional tests. In the sandbox, I had Chris Krause, I had the C4C, I had the children folders, and the shared. So now I have this process here, and I have the test steps here. Now the other thing that's happened was it imported my variables and my data. So I started empty, so I didn't have any variables inside of here. They were brought over. If I look at my data, I should have a layout and a record set that came over also. So what we've done is basically started with a completely em empty location and started bringing our processes over. So this should be kind of normal. People would want to do this on a regular basis. Um, I could maybe cut this and I'll just paste it up here. So I've now moved it up so it's on folder. I won't need this one anymore so I can delete it. But what will happen is every time I import a process, I'll get the time and date stamp here so I can see them and then um, import them in and copy and move them. So in this case, since I was, there's nothing there, it was easy enough for me to move the folder. And now I've basically you know, populated an empty project with a set of processes and all of its dependencies. And now I can ready to run these.